Welcome. In this first session, I want to give you an overview of the five main areas of the brain impacted by trauma. If you suffered from a traumatic incident, then you probably know what trauma feels like, but you might not have an understanding of what's actually happening in your brain during and after trauma. In this session, I want to give an overview of the following five main areas of the brain that research has shown can change with traumatic events. One of them is going to be called the amygdala, which is the smoke alarm or a fear center of the brain that activates when we feel afraid or are faced with a threat or a danger. We're also going to talk a little bit about the hippocampus, which is the memory center of the brain, this area of the brain that helps to encode and process memories, including traumatic memories. We're also going to talk a little bit about the insula, which is this fascinating area of the brain that allows you to feel into internal experiences and what happens in trauma in this area. And then a couple of higher up brain areas. One is the cingulate, which helps us factor out irrelevant information and regulate thoughts and emotions. And finally, the prefrontal cortex, the thinking area of the brain that allows us to focus and engage in problem solving and decision making, and also allows us to connect with ourselves and others. The goal of therapy is always brain change. And in this series, I'm gonna be discussing EMDR in quite a bit of depth. And I wanna be talking to you about how EMDR can change the brain in the direction of health. But in order to do that, we first have to have a basic understanding of what's happening in the brain after trauma.